So we are potentially, finally, on the precipice of excellence. Bango, wow, beautiful outside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are home. So, per usual, told myself I would take a couple days off vlogging. I took less than 24 hours off of vlogging. We got home yesterday at 6.30 a.m. We landed in New York. New guy picked us up, thank you new guy. And I didn't get home until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. 10 o'clock yesterday morning. And I had to finish my vlog. I passed out around two o'clock, woke up at like four o'clock, was so lethargic and out of it all the rest of the day. Finally fell asleep at nine and I slept until 10.30. <laughs> So here we are. Woke up today, and we're going to the wave pool later. Oh, buddy. But uh, I was just away for eight days, so I have to just catch up on a couple things, see what's going on. Go around, get my mail, you know, life. We have a letter from Josh Brown, Fort Bragg, California. What a legend. He's a high school teacher in Fort Bragg for 16 years. It's an honor to write someone who has had such a great impact on the surf culture and history. You have inspired me and many of my students more than you know. Growing up in Orange County, I always loved surfing. I found over the years that the use of real artifacts in my class makes the subject more exciting and more real for the students. I thought it'd be a great idea to write some real heroes of the movement. I found this address on, quick, on a quick white pages search. Please forgive me. <laughs> The walls of my classroom are filled with many amazing artifacts over the years. Is there anything I could add? I'd love an autograph or have anything you'd be willing to send. I have enclosed a stamp to cover any shipping. I can send more if needed. Wow. Well, guess what, Josh? Look at this. It's got stuff all over the classroom. I'm sending you something, boss. Thank you. This is an honor. Whoa, dude. Nobody told me about this swell. It wasn't even online. Surprise bombs? Surprise bombs? No one even told me about this swell. There it is, set of the day. This side too. Cranking on both sides. The choice is yours. Jay Vern, making shelves, painting. Okay, we got a couple uh, surfboards here that I'm gonna be giving away, donating to the less fortunate, so. The South Jersey Board Riders, they do board drives every couple months. They donate boards to kids who like, whose families can't afford them. So I got three boards going in for the dream. It's an honor, an honor to pass boards to the next generation. the boards off it feels good to like give and it's actually really simple thank you to the South Jersey board riders if you want to donate some boards to a future generation of surfers who might not even have been surfers unless we donated boards which I find interesting and really awesome uh, to give to people who need it contact the South Jersey board riders I'll put their Instagram on the screen they're doing board drives all the time Changing the world isn't really something that you have to do on a mass scale. If there's a lot of people who are willing to put time towards a good cause, it can happen on a seemingly small scale, but it can spread. I promote going out into the world every day and being kind and nice to everyone that you see. You know, the reality of life is that people are gonna bother you. People are going to annoy you. This is what this is how life is. You know, there's a there's billions of people on the earth. So when you see a random person out in the water who maybe looks like they're struggling, is it cool to act like you rip and make them feel uninvited? No, it's absolutely not cool at all. 
it's cool to go up to that person and be like, hey, how's it going? How long have you been surfing? Are you enjoying it? That's cool. Enjoying your life, being nice to people, passing on kindness, that's cool. Every single person is equal. Doesn't matter how good you surf, how much money you have, what kind of car you have, what kind of job you have, how people perceive you, how famous you are, none of it matters. There's nothing separating me from anyone that I see. So if I can leave one thing behind with these videos, it's everybody's welcome. Enjoy your life. The world is everyone's. The ocean is everyone's. That's, that's fact. We're all going to be gone. And I would like to see the next generation of people sharing. So that's the dream. I'm just living it. Hear ye, hear ye, people of my new hometown. If you signed up for the Wavy with Gravy Night at Scoot and Surf Wave Pool, you got a free goodie bag. Mackie is back in the vlog. Right. Maggie. What? Look. Say hi. Oh, what up, guys? Hi. <laughs> Should I do the full suit in an 80 degree wave full video? Go get That's your pineapple heavy. suit, Ben. That's heavy. Go get your pineapple it. suit. I can't. It's too hot. Uh. Is this real? It's real. This happened. This just went down. Do you have a skateboard in the How car? How are we going to get up the bridge, though, Mackie? There's a side that you can walk on. We just have to cross and. Oh my god. Do what? Go. We, we have to buy. A, do you have a gas thing in here? At my house. Then we have to buy one there and just send it. They don't have one there. You don't think they have one there? No. They have to. It's a gas station. This right? Is f this did not just happen. Where's Alex's house? Right here, I think. Call him. This is insane, Ben. All right, all right. It's really not funny anymore and not cute. I don't think it's cute <laughs> at all. Not you, this happens like 20 not. times a year. It's not. Becky, how do you feel about this? I just think we have to take like either a little walk or maybe ask him. It's us. irresponsible. That's what that is. It's literally like just like four blocks away. It's just a time killer. Well, you better start walking. Hello, Cappy. Yo. <laughs> what up? Do you still live in? Yeah. Are you home? Yeah. Dude, I just ran out of gas on the end of your street. <laughs> Do you have a gas can I can borrow to get to this gas station over here? No way. Yeah, I'll come pick you up. I don't know if I have a gas can, but I can come grab you. Just go to the gas station. You think the gas station has one? Dude, he's coming to save us. He's coming to save us. Look. Where's he going? A gas can in there? You got a gas can? My neighbor has one. You're a legend. What up? To the savior. I was about to skate to the gas station. Fancy seeing you boys around my neighborhood. Yes. Legend. What a hero. That's my buddy Ben. How you doing, boss? Connie. That's what you But I meant like this is unreal. This is unreal. I like see I like seeing you guys, but I wish I you know I wish I got a heads up. So I thought that was your girlfriend sitting back there turning around. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch I'm gonna watch this. You're supposed to be able to put that thing. Oh I got it, I got it. I That's can say pump. this, thanks to Alex. This is the fastest turnaround for someone who's run out of gas in history. I was yeah. <laughs> Get in there. I was just sitting on my couch. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I mean, dude, it, how what? Random. How could you run out of gas at a better place though? Right at your house. Yeah. That is weird. <laughs> this couldn't have been any better. Wait, did what you... a friend's fall all night. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. There he is, people. Okay, hold on. The final test. See, you don't have gas in this thing ever. Like, I... hearing that baby purr. You're the man. Have a safe, have a safe journey wherever the hell you guys are going. Thanks. Can you fill it, <clears throat> fill it with regular, please? Sure. Thank you. Anxiety makes me snap. Fill it up with gas and we're going to be on our way. Ready? I'm ready. Is Will ready? That tees the question. There he is. He looks ready. Coach Will. Straight from Hawaii. I was hoping for Cliff today, but we got Will. <laughs> I He's wanted Woody. Cliff's coming. <laughs> Where's everywhere, Woody? everywhere I travel around the world, every single place I go, as soon as I'm like, yo, what's up? How you doing? They're like, what's up? Where's Cliff? <laughs> <laughs> 
Whoa. Oh, there's lights now. Wow, it feels so nice in here. Yeah. The ground. Yeah, buddy. What up? Say hi, man. Still, every time gets me. Just every time. Just gets me. Ben Green is my favorite surfer in the world! <laughs> All right, here's the claim, and this is the claim. One day, my face will be in focus, I promise you. Here's the claim. We made it, once again. Scoot and Surf has rolled it out in style for the crew. We're living the dream here. We are up in the suite. We're gonna be going down to the wave pool soon, hanging out with everyone who signed up for the wavy with gravy night. Hopefully we can do another one of these this year. Really awesome way to connect with people that support me. So thank you everyone who signed up and we are gonna go surf for three hours and have an amazing time for the dream. So hype. <laughs> I got one right now. Real bros wear the same outfit. Dude, we got pizza on the way. Why are you overeating? Dude, I've only ate breakfast today so far. I gotta get some nutrients. Nothing better than Cheez Its. The event starts in 15 minutes. How you feeling? I'm gonna win the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> this is a competition. Right? You already won, Maggie. You're already in the king suite. Event starts in 15 minutes. Mom's spaghetti right now. How you feeling, Jordan? Um, Mom's spaghetti? Mom's spaghetti. Looking good though. Thanks for having me come on. As always, looking like a looking like a beautiful wife. I am a beautiful wife. Your wife. Even though you have a receding hairline. <laughs> Alright, the claim right now is if you sign up for Wavy with Gravy, you get a gift bag. So we're gonna meet everyone, give their gift bags and uh Gave out a lot of XLs, but uh, I think they're gonna be stoked anyway. A lot of the dads are gonna be hyped. But uh, we're about to hit the water for the dream, scoot and surf. Let's do it. Darn. I can hear it. Go! <laughs> Why am I doing your job? <laughs> Party wave just went off. Scoot and Surf knows how to do it. This session's about to be mental. Yeah, back in! You said it up. This is what happens when it starts popping off. When waving with gravy night starts going crazy. Mackie, go, 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 go. Get into your position.
Canyon! This is like medieval times, this is what it seems like. The ancient art of ear candling. Now how long do you do it? We are timing. You're supposed to let that drop into a bowl. You do it till the candle's four inches. What bowl? You gotta move your hair too, buddy. Hold on, I gotta help. Not cut out for this life, no mo, no mo, no mo. Today is a day. That you got told that you get <laughs> old. The solar panel kid that stopped by the house told me I get too much sun. He said I, I look like I've been getting more sun than the solar panel. Here, I mean, let's do what these shades are used for. Let's draw these shades. Okay, I want to give a special shout out to Sector 9 Skateboards. They have fulfilled one of my lifelong dreams. Even though I never dreamed of being a pro skater. That's a lie, actually, I used to. Wow, and you're wearing a Sector 9 shirt. You're on oh, yeah. brand. They fulfilled one of my lifelong dreams of having a signature skate deck. Not only have I had one, I've had two. And we are now working on my third. But today is a day that will live in infamy as deck number two goes on the wall of my office. Wow, it's a nice for you. <sighs> it's a moment in time. It's a moment that rhymes. Can you feel? That's what I feel like. What well, they're not cut through. Can you feel the dolphins cry? I can't. That was luck of the draw, though, Jordan. I know that you got them. That I got them in the mail. I know. I was thinking I've been that. For boards for three years. That's not stuff like that. You missed it. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Why do you always think I'm not on it? You should have put it closer together. Because what are you gonna do about your third? Well, that's where the studs are. So. Oh. Wow, your second one is so good. Like so dead ass, good. it's so good. So that's that. That's that, Pat. And the studs weren't really designed for design, they were just designed to hold up the house. But like a lot of people don't even put their stuff on studs, so I think sometimes you just gotta chill with the stud guy. guy. Though, it's like stud. that's not falling off with the drywall. Okay, relax. Still though, the dream on the triple beam. Thank you, Sector 9. Epic. Okay. Today is the day. I've been waiting for this moment for 11 years. <laughs> Haven't I? It could be 20 years. When this car was worth $26,000, I offered my dad full price. That would have been insane. I even ordered a Bronco. It never came. <laughs> I've been looking at other cars. 
Almost bought a Forerunner. Didn't buy it. Yet here we are today, potentially on the precipice of excellence. And why I say potentially is because you never know with this wild card of a man, this pure, pure bottle rocket of a father. He could see you driving off step, like literally like throw himself in front of the car and say, don't take it, right? I gotta do something. Yeah, 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 so we don't know, we don't know. So we are potentially, finally, at least five years of work we're finally realizing a goal. This car has been sitting in the driveway of my dad's house for years. The battery has died multiple <laughs> times because no one drives it. He told me he was going to give it to my younger sister. She never got her license. <laughs> and a car can only sit on the back burner for so long. But today, my dad is claiming that I can take the black BMW off of his hands. I don't believe him still to this day, mm. to this moment. I will not believe well, you, it. You kind of forced his hand. I didn't. Sometime, How many times did you call him? I've been asking for this car for years. But the, the thing is, until all the paperwork's finished, you will never know. You will never know if he's really going to let go. So, this is this and that is that. Let's go see what's happening. He couldn't even let me do my slow-mo. He had to come out and big hoss it. Like, whip out his big f***ing pork roll salami and show me what was good. What's up, Dad? Talk to it. Talk to the people at home. It's not It's not what you want to think in your brain. What, what's, what's been holding off on you passing down this fine automobile for six years? Look at that car. Well, it rotted in your driveway. Look at the car. What about it? And, like, it's old as old. What year is it? 2011. So they made it in 10. It's 11 years old? Yeah, and it's like perfect. And I've wanted it since 11 years ago. Your filming doesn't work when the cap's on. I well, get this rug out of here. Walk us around the vehicle. What's there to walk, dude? Do like a whole... Um, Give us a rundown. Like a Cribs episode with the car. These are my colors. I had a black two Volvo wagon. Oh, that's a fan. With a tan interior. I should have kept. I didn't keep it. I had a black Bronco, brand new, 88, should have kept that. Definitely should have kept the Bronco, 100%. Yeah, replaced the Bronco with a black Suburban with a tan interior. Destroyed that one. Still have it. Ruined it. Shop. It's ruined. Dad had a panic attack in that car. <laughs> Dude, what? We used to have a lot of panic attacks <laughs> until you married you. Wow, that's nice. You guys less now. <laughs> To show off your other car? No, well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the upgrade that he had. No, I, no one drives this, this car either. This thing sits in the driveway, too. So they replaced it with... That's a 328 XI. They replaced it with a 330 XI. And I'm actually in the hunt for uh, a 535 wagon. But you can only get them in Europe. Fast. Oh, yeah. So... Do you want to race? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will be it. Do you realize that car? Oh, this is nice. Why does the camera should drive this? 2019. It's so this. nice. Seats going up. Seats are nice. Seats are nice. I can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> are you that happy? He's ben, not, you have to up the thing. He's going to take it back. Yeah, but at least it could be yours for like a week. <laughs> what is it dirty? <laughs> this guy thinks he's a fine car collector. Oh yeah. We just gotta do a nice you know what we gotta get? We gotta get the um
massive shout out to my dad who's obviously a legend, been a total legend for years, finally passing down the dream car to its rightful place in the universe. One thing, well there's a lot of things I gotta fix but woke up this morning after it rained and the floor was a puddle like this deep. Any BMW experts out there let me know, I don't know what to do, pretty gnarly. And I have to go on a trip tomorrow, so I don't have time to take the car in. So, I'll be back in a week. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I'll get everything dialed when I get home. But, if you guys are enjoying the videos, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also leave me a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. Can't even describe what the future has to hold. Way too much epicness. Thank you for all the stoke. Thank you for all the love. Nub Nation for the win. I love you. I'll see you next vlog. For the dream.